Hi. In this tutorial, you will learn how to set up the services and service categories in the Amelia Booking plugin. After the general settings in Amelia are configured, you need to create a service category. You'll need to create at least one category. First, we will take a look at how to add, edit, and delete service categories. On the left side of the category page, click on the Add Category button and write its name. Then, you need to click on the check mark. You can always edit, duplicate, or delete it later. You can do so by using the buttons on the right hand side of the category card. Now let's create services. First, click on the Add Service button or the plus button. The new service dialog is divided into three tabs. The first tab, Service Details, is for configuring the most important options. It comprises a number of subsections. Service Photo is the first one. This picture will appear on the back end and on the front end for that service. The next subsection, Name, is where you need to write the service name. After that, we have the Category subsection where you'll select the category that this service belongs to. The next in line is the service duration. The time slots from here are based on the setting defined in the default time slot step. You can do that in the general settings screen after you've chosen a duration for your services. This will not affect already existing and saved services, but it can cause some issues in the booking process if your time slot will not match the duration. There's also another option that you can set here. You can go to the general settings and select to have the service duration set as the booking time slot. The next subsection is the service price. The format will be the one from the payment settings. Moving on to buffer time before and buffer time after. These options give you the possibility to set the time before and after the appointment that needs to be reserved. This is done in order to prevent duplicate bookings for the same service and employee at the same time. It will not be seen on the front end, but it will reduce the number of free time slots in the employee's schedule. Buffer time before is the time your employee needs to prepare for the appointments. Buffer time after is the time after the appointment that your employee needs to rest or clean up. The minimum capacity and maximum capacity comes next. Here, you can enter the minimum and the maximum number of people for one booking. This is useful for group appointments like a class and can be set for each employee. You can also show the bringing anyone with you option or not, depending on your preferences. The Employees subsection allows you to select the person assigned to the service. Next, add the description that will appear on the front page when you use the front end booking catalog. In Gallery tab, you can add images that will show up on the front page of your service if you choose the front end booking catalog. By dragging them, you can adjust their order in which they will be shown on the front page of your service. You can also delete an image with a simple click. Extras provide you the possibility to add any additional service or product. Customers can buy them when they are scheduling their appointment. For an extra, you can set the name and an optional duration. In case you do set the duration, it will not be multiplied by the number of people. After that, set the price, the max quantity of extras a customer can get, and the description that will appear on the front end booking catalog. After all this, Click the Save button and your service will appear on the page. In the page header, you can see the total number services. You can have as many services and service extras as you need. If you have a large number of services, you can filter them by clicking on the category title. When you edit a service by changing the service capacity or price, you can choose whether you want this to be applied only for that service or for all the assigned employees. If you choose the first option, the changes will be applied only to employees that are added from that point forward. But if you choose the second option, you will make changes for all the assigned employees. This will be applied regardless of whether they add a custom setting or not. There are three more options in the Edit Service dialog. These include Duplicate, Hide, and Delete. Duplicate and Hide options are available for users with administrator and manager roles. The Delete option is only available for the administrators. In order to use the Duplicate option, open the service you want to duplicate. Then, in the bottom left corner, click on the Duplicate button and the copied version will open. If you don't want to delete your service, you can just hide it. 
a hidden service will be visible only on the back end of your plugin. Please note that if you hide a service, you will also hide the related employees and locations. If you want to delete a service, click on it. Then, in the Edit Service modal, click on Delete. Next, you will see one of three messages that appear depending on the number of connected appointments. First, if your service doesn't have any connected appointments, you just have to confirm the deletion. Second, if your service had appointments in the past, you will see the info about the number of appointments. If you delete services with appointments in the past, you will also delete all those appointments. But you might want to keep records of your past appointments by hiding the service to preserve the historical appointments data. And third, if your service has appointments in the future, you will not be able to delete it. Thank you for checking out this tutorial. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to check out these other tutorials that we've created for the Amelia Appointment Booking plugin. And if you're enjoying the plugin, please share your experience with it through your social networks. It will help us add new and cool features to the plugin.